Councillor Bilcher, I'm the Vice Chair of the Barracliffe Big Local. So I live in Barracliffe. We met up with Jason and his creative reefs group when I went into school. He was doing a thing with the children. I thought, I really want to buy into this. So we're going to give them up to 1,500 quid today to, to develop some of their ideas going forward. Food packaging has become a massive thing in the media lately since the, the Blue Planet 2 programme and um, I just want these children, I've been working with them in the schools and, and whatever, talking to them about waste and how we should deal with it and, and reducing waste the best way we can. So this week has been about reducing waste and mainly single-use plastic. It's also been about recycling and developing ideas. So I started off thinking, what is a normal bin? And then it, I thought, well, we don't have any recycle bins. I thought if we change the whole normal bin into a recycling bin with three different compartments, one for cans, one for glass, one for plastic. Plastic is blue, glass is green, and grey or silver is cans. And then we, on Photoshop and Cinema 4D, we got a picture of the bin at the park and switched it with my bin what we did on Cinema 40, and then I did all the sketching of the bin at the start, of all pan view, front view and side view. Fantastic, fantastic. Do you think that's a winning design? Yeah. Good luck with it. I think it will be. Now you've come up with a really good design that you showed me earlier. Tell me about your design. Well, you have to get a lot of plastic bottles with some twigs and string, put, put the plastic bottles on the sticks attached this with the string and it's kind of like a bird feeder because you cut holes in the plastic bottles and put seed in it so it's kind of like a bird feeder. So that's really good so you're actually using plastic that might hurt animals and you've used that plastic to make something that helps animals. That is cracking design, well done. My name is Rebecca and I'm from Scarborough and North Yorkshire Children's University, uh, part of University of Hull. Tell me how the work that the children have been doing with Creative Briefs this week fits in with what you want to achieve at the Children's University. What they've done this week is they've learnt the design process, they've learnt the five P's, which are transferable skills that they can take with them. You know, that's business knowledge that's, um, you know, they've got that already at age six to 14. So they can tell us about that skill that they've learnt. But aside from that, they've, they've worked really hard on personal goals. So being able to work as a team, to be able to speak to people when they do their pitch. So there's so many soft and hard skills that they're coming away with and they've just had a real uh, enjoyable summer and that's what we want, we want them to enjoy the learning that they're doing and they've had a great load of fun. I'm Natalie Bosomworth, I'm from the Children's Centre um, and I've been doing this as part of the Embrace project. So what have the children been doing this week? What haven't they been doing? They've been doing loads of design work, they've started at the beginning of the, de the design process and worked all the way along so they've got some concept ideas now which they're going to pitch to members of Barracliffe Big Local and uh, hopefully they'll like our ideas and they might invest in us. The theme's been recycling which was actually a, pro a project that they chose off the back of the last time we worked with Creative Briefs. Some of them wanted to do some work on, cre on recycling. Tell me something about the designs the young people have come up with. For me the most important thing is that the designs are fun. Uh, and they incorporate a really interactive quality. So f particularly with the bins, they've turned it in, recycling into a game. So you throw your rubbish in or it's a monster and there's a puzzle and uh, different things to make recycling more engaging. What do you think the children have learnt about recycling this week? I think, to be honest, to give them the credit, they know a lot about recycling. What, they want, what they've learned is how they can have an impact on recycling. Um, and how they could get more people interested in recycling. So thinking about different designs, thinking about advertising campaigns, and they've learned, obviously, all the design skills that that's involved. What sort of impact has Creative Briefs had on you and your group that you're going to take forward in, in the coming year? I think that the group have really grown together. There's children here that I have be, seen being really shy in the past, ones who have really applied themselves, they've really got involved with the Photoshop in particular, it's, it's been a massive draw for them and, and a really engaging skill to learn. Like, But they've just gone to it, they've done the stop animation stuff. And on a personal level for most of them is, is the achievement that they've made.
Hello, my name is Penny Benniston. I'm the market superintendent down at Scarborough Market Hall. OK, so you've had the young people from the Junior Design Factory, Creative Briefs. Uh, you've been hosting them on their project this week. What have they been working on? They're looking at how um, we can recycle all our waste, all our cardboard, all our paper, uh, and the best use for it, um, and including how we can use food as well. OK, so the young people have just pitched to you. They've shown you their designs and ideas that they've come up with across this week. Tell me about some of the things you've seen. Well, I think it's fabulous. I can't believe that they're, they're so young to come up with such great ideas. The calendar, I think, is an awesome idea. To have a calendar that you personalise by colouring it in yourself, I, I think everybody would love that. And I quite like the bins as well, and I want one here. <laughs> Did any of the bin designs, any specific ones, appeal to you? I like Gozo. I think Gozo. Gozo. Tell me about Gozo. <laughs> He's a robot. <laughs> I want a robot in the market that will help recycle everything. Yeah, I, I want that robot. This is the first time I've seen the kind of finished works, seeing how they've come to those designs as well. So seeing the little scrappy paper, the little design to start with, and how it's grown, I think it's, it's quite nice to see the end bit. With Creative Brief's help, the children have spent the whole week looking at the solutions to pollution and how to encourage people to recycle. They're now pitching their ideas to their special guests, a counsellor and an environmental health expert. One, two, maybe even three of their recycling designs and campaign ideas are going to be chosen for further development. How did your pitch go? Uh, semi well. I'm just not very good at talking to people. I think you came over quite confidently though. Thank you. Uh, tried to. What's your immediate reaction now that you've received the pitches from, from the young people? It's not what I expected. It really isn't. I expected, you know, uh, a chance perspective. There's some things in there which are really good and really well thought out. Uh, working with Creative Briefs, I think that he has, he has tried to bring that out in them. And they've done really well. I mean, looking at the bin designs, looking at the logos, I think I'm super impressed by what's going on. Okay. Just a very quick reaction. Yeah, it just shows how much the children care about their environment and ways to improve their environment and care for the future as well. It's just been such a thought-provoking day, really. How would you summarise what you've just seen? Um, yeah, it's really impressive, actually. Um, and it's nice to see that the kids have a lot of uh, thought and meaning behind their designs you know they know what issues are important and um, they can certainly to teach us adults a thing or two I think as well and yeah the designs are really impressive so tough job to try and judge the winners I think yeah absolutely just a very quick um, you know reaction from yourself no I'm impressed what's been done in seven days it's unbelievable there's a term time there and they've managed it okay. excellent okay I'll leave you to the operations right then the first winner is... Should we have a drum roll? First winner is... The tree logo. Yes! Woo! The logo with the tree. So well done. The next one is the... Um, oh, yes, right. It's, it's a bin. It's one of the bins. And it is the... Is it like the big, the big Fanta one, isn't it? Yeah, with the, with the thing that you drop in as well. So well done. Congratulations. Well done, well done. There is another winner as well. Might be another two winners. Next winner is the calendar. Yeah, the calendar. Everybody then. Well, there we go. <laughs> so well done, everybody. There's one more winner, actually. Ooh, one more winner. And it's another bin. And uh, this is going to be it's the triple bin, isn't it? Yeah, the, the triple bin, the triple bin. Yeah, the triple bin. So well done. Yay. Woo. Yay. Well done there. Congratulations. So can I say, right, from Big Local, thank you so much. You don't realise, right, how good the work is, what you've done. I know Paddy was going to speak in a minute, will probably say exactly the same. I was very impressed with what you came up with. And Ari will tell you, that was all fogies who were counsellors, right, we, we don't have half the ideas you've got. So you've got to think that when you get to 18, you need to get elected now and change this town for something better and get rid of all of us old folks. But I'll let Paddy say the last bit. Um, but really impressed whizzing around there and my heart sank, I was thinking, well, how are we going to choose any winners because all of the designs looked absolutely amazing. Um, and I'm just really impressed with, with the ideas that you've put behind them, the reasons why you've created the designs that you have as well. And uh, we're all just blown away, really. 
Uh, like you say, you're putting us grown-ups to shame, really. So, great work. Yeah, massive well done, really. And I'm really pleased that um, there's different winners um, getting some money and you're actually going to be able to see the work that you've done uh, this week actually being turned into something that you'll be able to see out and about in the community. So, uh, well done, guys. You should be very proud of yourselves and give yourselves a big round of applause.